gold dress. So I'm going to be quickly explaining how he did the cutting on the other video. Okay, so the first thing is to determine where your gold is starting from, which is around the waistline. Now, if I'm making a dress, I need to extend the length of my bodice to my desired length. So now, let's assume I'm using this as my desired length, the length of this pattern, to do the go. Another thing you need to do, take out your shaping. You know you already have your length to underboss. You can do all those your length to underboss shaping. Take out your excess, the same way you have to take it out. And also do the shaping, connecting it properly from here. See the placement is different because this is now a panel, panel that. So I'm just going to shape it properly for you. Because you need to apply your shaping now. Now that you've also done all those your tears and your shape bodies. So you apply your shaping. Now connecting the top that to the waist wall. Using your French curl, you have to blend it in. Second that leg to this. So see how I'm continuing it, what we already have here, to the under bust. And then I'll straighten out, use the not so straight part of my also copy part of my French curve to connect. Now I have this. Next, to panel it down from the mid part of your that straight down. Now for the back, you panel the back part from the dart all the way down. Now to panel the shoulder part, another thing you need to do is Measure from NP, from your front NP. This is now our first dart leg. This is the second dart leg. So in this point are actually very important. You measure from your NP to the first dart leg. So I'll measure what I have here. Whatever I have, I have 3.5 here, from NP to the first dart leg. Now bring it from NP on the back, 3.5 to this other part. Now connect from NP to the dart. But before you do that, you also measure from your SP, your center front SP, which is your shoulder point to the second dart leg. So I'll measure from center front SP to the second dart leg. I have 10 cm. Now I'll bring the 10 cm here and mark. So if you check, they don't meet. That means we have a little excess at the center back. It doesn't matter. All you need to do is get the midpoint of whatever excess you have. Now connect this So this, and then connect the other one that you measured to it. So we're cutting out to we'll take out that excess. Now we already have these panel lines. I'm going to mark out where to cut before we cut out and know what we're adding for the go. So this is just to complete what you already have on the video. So I'm going, to cut in it, I'm going to be cutting it out and then showing you how to add the extension. Does anybody have any question before I proceed to cutting? If you have any question, you can ask before I cut it out. So before cutting it out, it's very important to label. Now this is, you're paneling the front, that means this is one piece. So this is your center front. And this center front part is on fold. Remember, if you are doing your, even when you are sewing your regular bodies, here is still on fold. Now, this is your side front. So it's always best you lay bare before you cut out so that you know all the points. Now, this is your center back. And this is your zip part. And this is your side back or center back too. Any question if I continue, please? Okay, we say we're good. Now I'm going to cut on the lines. Always see it here. I'm just going to be taking them before cutting. So see what I'm taking. Now I'm taking out this shape part for the center front, just the way we did our connection. And also you cut through the dart too. Look at this. 
side. I'm trying to erase this so it doesn't distract us from what we actually want. From what we actually want to say. So I'm going to cut out my neck line. Don't forget, you can always. Um, change your neckline. You can decide the type of neckline you want. You apply it to this center front. So I also cut out the back. If you have any shaping to do, you ought to have done all that on your pattern so that you can connect properly. the back neck. I'm going to cut out the center back shape. I'm trying to erase anything so we don't have anything distracting us from what we really want. This that face. And also the excess we have on the back shoulder. Also be taking it out. So the whole idea now, you see why we need to label so you know all the back. This is my center back, this is my side back, this is the side front and center front. Remove your center front. So we're done cutting out. So now to add the gold part to it. So it depends on how wide you want it to be. So we can work with five inches, we can work with seven inches or more, but at least four inches. The least you can do is four inches. So, so let's say I want to add my gold. You always need to add it at the bottom part. Now the gold is starting from the waistline. This is my waistline. This is waistline. This is also waistline. This is waistline for side back and waistline for center back. Don't forget the center front is on four, that's why you still need to label. If you want to change your neckline, you can always change the neckline. So now, I'm, I'm working with, let's say, I'll use four inches. 
Now this is the four inches. You need one thing you need to notice after cutting out your pieces, you need to attach this on another paper. So you can do them one after the other, or you attach the paper from the waist downwards because that's where we'll be attaching new that will be attaching our more parts. So you can attach place this on another paper from waist downwards. That's the part you need. Now don't forget your center front is on foot. That means you're not attaching anything to the front part, just the side of your center front. Now mark out the allowance you need on your new paper and connect with ruler to the waistline because that's where our boy is coming from. This is it, I'll connect with ruler to the waistline. That's how it's coming out. Now shaping, connect the down part straight out. So it's always best for your boy dress. You don't turn it straight out like this. So after connecting it, take up one inch or 0.75. That on the side where you're adding the go and connect it back using your French comb. This is very important. Connect it back using the not so um, curvy part of your French comb. This is it. So now I will erase this. This is what I I will be using. So you allow it to curve a bit for the go to come out perfectly. Now for the side front, yeah, you need to have go on both parts because it's side. You'll be joining this to the front and this is to the side same. So what you need to do, you come out here, the same four inches, come out to the front, same four inches, and connect. So don't forget, you attach paper underneath it from the waist downward, so that you can connect it this way, back to your waist. And then, back to the waist. So this is, in case I have it, not that much. Huh? And we connect it back to the waist. Now, rule a straight line, blending both sides together, and take up the same 0.75 or 1 inch to form your curve. Remember what I say, you need to curve it out, erase it down. This is what we need. Now, for the side back, you also have to add your go to both sides. Now, you're adding your go to side back, side front, and center back. So, I also take my measurement, connect it from the waist downwards. Same thing for the other for the side, connect it from the waist downwards, and then connect. Afterwards, you will use zero uh, use one inch or zero point seven five to form your curve. So the curve will come from here and here. So it's very important to do all this first on the other paper. Same thing for the center back. Take out same measurements. So whatever you are using for the golf of front, that's what you use on all because you want the golf to be accurate and you want the flow to come out nice, same measurement, and then you connect 0.75 or 1 inch. So this is it. So this is how it was added. So now you want to cut now, you cut out here. You already have your pattern coming out. So the pattern has to come out like this like this all the pieces now cutting method if you're cutting you're cutting one piece of this don't forget this part is on fold that means you have to place your for cutting this center front you have to place your fabric on fold and then cut out this piece making sure this part is on fold and then you add your seam allowance if you're using 0.5 you add 0.5 from the top all the way following the shape for seam allowance now for the side front your side seam you can do one inch because this is the side seam. Now for the the side front, the one that you will be attaching to the center front, you can do 0 0.5 so that to align with what you have here. So you are adding your allowance from up all the way down. Don't forget, very important. Now we have the side back, side back, side front, one inch on both parts. And then the inner of the side back, you add your 0 0.5, seam allowance, add it following the shape. Please, you have to follow all curves that you see. Now for the center back, don't forget we have zip allowance here. You can do one inch for your zip allowance and then 0 0.5 for this part so that you can add your allowance. You follow all the shapes and all the allowance before you continue with the video or the cutting. Do we have any questions?